Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and it's here, the season finale. Uh, just watched part one, gave my thoughts on that. Um, yeah, so going into this one, who's going to survive and who's going to die? I feel like they're going to kill someone off. Could it be Angel? Could it be Faith? I don't know. Joyce? I don't know. Um, apologies if you can hear the fan. Um, it's very hot. Um, I really don't have anything to say. Um, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, I have done Graduation Day Part 1 and Part 2 um, as full length reactions. If you'd like to head over to Patreon and look at those. So uh, grab your cuppa or cold drinks, snacks and let's get into Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, season 3, Episode 22, the season finale, Graduation Day Part 2. I see I wonder whether he needs a slayer as part of the ascension. Come on, people feel more than one thing. You can be happy about one thing or sad about another. Okay, if it's just feeding on you, okay, that makes sense. But it's a drain. Just gotta make him turn. He's fighting off now. Look, Faith is in the same hospital. I see. Told ya. I thought Slayer's like could heal better though. I see their anger at him, but surely like Willow in particular knows Buffy well enough that she knowing that she would have done this. She would have pushed for this. I'm ready. Ready for what? Hmm. I think I know how to stop the mayor or at least distract him. You just need to cough in his face. I know it's disgusting, but he hates germs. <laughs> you haven't told them this bit? Okay, that is pretty much what I said. Oh, he's come on his own to help. Oh. <laughs> Knew he was a good egg. Remember, fast and brutal. 
Oh, they're really building this up, aren't they? They're doing a really good job of building it up without actually revealing anything of what's going to happen. Are they going to have their first kiss? Are they going to find that everybody fights back because they've all been through these things so many times now? <laughs> Oscar make you feel okay about anything. You're literally just going to leave. I get why that would be heartbreaking, but also you've said goodbye to each other so many times and it just makes it harder. This is where Snyder says, thank God, goodbye you little shits. <laughs> the darkness. He timed it perfectly. Are we pleased with that? Swan roll. Don't eat Snyder. We need him. Start running, people. So those parents just started running and none of them went to grab their kids. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter how old your kid is, you grab your kid before you run. Oh. I said about everyone being ready to fight. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Pick up a weapon, Snyder. Get involved. Oh. Second wave. Oh. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> I'm assuming Giles is waiting somewhere to finish it. Oh, there's a tunnel, isn't there? Oh, we're going to blow it. I was going to say it's easier to defeat than I thought, but it was just a good plan. 
Wesley. to give her a hug. Do I, I've already said it, I bet you give the best hugs. Give her a hug. Oh, he hasn't gone yet. No, I just want to look at her one last time. Yeah. Zander didn't think he was gonna. Okay, that's probably the best episode of the whole show so far. Um, they did a great job with the build up, they did a great job on, um, like I said, the whole we know something big is coming and we're kind of involved in the prep, but we don't know what's actually going to happen. Um, like keeping us out on the plan but knowing that these people have all got their own things going on and watching it all come together um i joked about how everyone should be ready or able to fight back because of what they've been through at this school so far and i was right um yeah seeing them all stand up and fight i'm did they kill off um i cannot remember their names the mean girl we saw her get bitten by a vampire so are we to assume that she's now dead and of course the guy that i think he was part of the football team friend of zana i don't want to call him the gay one because i know that in the 90s that's probably how he was referred and we all did that with tv shows and it was a common thing obviously not now it's not okay but that guy because i really liked him i know we heard the crunch of bone when he hit the floor i'm just hoping that was broken bones and not death um and i'm glad jonathan survived i do like jonathan and yeah can't believe they did that to my principal snyder although watching them at the end they're having their moment high school is finished i definitely felt it that whole everything changes in this show now no more sunnydale high no more library um and so i i was going to be separated from snyder anyway but uh yeah yeah it was I say, a really good season finale as in you felt the end of the season the end of school we're moving on to something else now and i'm really excited to see what that is and how they do this um i think they had angel leaving was done in a really good way we didn't get yet another goodbye because we've we've done that before um but him just taking that moment to just look at her and her to look at him it's almost like they didn't need to say anything just in that look that moment they knew what each other wanted to say um and i don't believe that we'll never see angel again in buffy he's too big of a character to never appear again i just feel like it's the right thing for his character because where can buffy and angel go from here we've done everything with them the only other thing they can do with them is a love triangle at some point otherwise yeah it's done we've just been doing the same thing over and over buffy can never move on with anything else so yeah had to be done um felt like he was defeated rather easily 
but I think the point is that it wasn't an easy defeat. It was because the plan was so good and well executed that it happened that way. Um, and again, this episode wasn't really about defeating the mayor. It was about everyone coming together, working together, and that final moving on from high school thing. That was the main focus. I said that Wesley was a good one from early on. He came back, even though he wasn't much use, he tried. And what more can you ask of someone than trying? Especially when what he should have done is gone straight back to England and never given it a second thought. That's what the Watchers Council would want him to do, but he didn't. Um, I like the moment they had between Wesley and Cordelia, that kind of moment of finally getting it together only to find that actually, yeah, it doesn't really work. Um, but again, you had to try it to know. And now they know, and now we know. So it was really awkward. <laughs> I don't think Faith is going to die. Uh, we didn't see her die. We didn't have the whole goodbye to Faith moment. We had a little bit of a moment, but not a proper one that I feel for would be good enough for a character of like Faith and it's had the impact that Faith has had. So I think she's going to survive it just might take some time it may be one of those that we don't even know she survived until like a later season where she appears so yeah i'm interested to see how we move forward in season four i really hope daniel was going to come back but okay if anything you could say she's the smartest one who just got out of there <laughs> and i will also point out it seems that joyce did what Buffy wanted and wasn't there. Those are the parents. Unless this had been prearranged that they knew what was going to happen and they were going to run, you grab your kid before you go anywhere. I mean, I'm an adult and I know that my parents would not be running off and leaving me there with a demon. Very good episode. Really enjoyed that one. Um, so, thanks for watching and I will see you on season four. Bye.